So we're not saying you can't go get a new career. We're saying... So is being a stripper. Okay. We're saying don't try to be something that you are not. Huh? Right? So if you are a stripper, if you are a sex worker, don't go out and try to be a PTA. Why? Mother. You sound stupid as f bro. And that's the problem with these modern males, bro. Triple T G gang. We back in this thing. You already know what it is. If you do not know who I am, my name is Diamond. I run this channel called True to the Game. You already know why you came today. Today, fellas, we're going to be talking about does a woman's past matter before you get with her, before you entertain her? Does her past really matter? Before we even get started, I want you to comment down below. What do you think? Do you take a woman's past into account when you are wanting to have an interaction with them? And when does it, when do you take it into account? Do you not take it into account if she's just a smash? Do you only take it into account whenever you're trying to build something or be in a relationship or maybe take it serious? Let me know in the comment section down below. Let's go ahead and get into it. If you are a pimp and not a simp like this video, comment your thoughts below. Make sure that you do subscribe to the channel select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where i'm getting you closer to being a pimp and less of a simp let's get into the video because they don't want to be shamed no because they don't want to deal with the consequences of their actions i think you That's guys it's, it's unrealistic <laughs> for you guys to think that these women at 22 would be the same woman at 42 like it's, it's not making fact. any sense to me That's that you fact. guys are so flabbergasted that there are wives and mothers. i'm gonna just say some of y'all mamas was all over the streets. So if you want to. <laughs> if you want to talk mess about these ladies out here. Who done ran the streets. And now they tired of running the streets. Now they want to settle down. Now they want to play wifey. They want to step into another role. Why would you judge her for that? I'm pretty sure your mama done ran the streets too. And then she settled down with your daddy. You know and even that didn't work out. So. All I'm saying is, guys out here, you cannot judge a woman for her past. Now, you can judge her for her past. You have every right to as an individual. But you have to know that everyone has a past. Even you have a past. And that's with everything in life, we have a past. Would you, do you really think it's fair for you to have committed a crime 30 years ago, right? 20 or 30 years ago, and still be condemned for that crime think about all these celebrities who go through shit in their careers they get caught up with the law they do some dumb shit and then they try to grow from that situation or they do grow from that situation but people still bring up their past imagine you not being able to grow from a situation because everybody keeps bringing up that situation right it's the same thing when it comes to women Whatever she did before me is what she did before me. That has nothing to do with me. Now, if you done picked up some AIDS and shit like that, okay, yeah. We got to leave that shit. That your past matters in that case. But other than that, I'm not going to judge you off of what you did because I know when you step into my reality, it's going to be what I say. <laughs> so I know that sounds crazy. But look, when you step into my reality, this is a whole nother world over here. I'm not in her world. She's in my world. If I give her the opportunity to be in my world. And with that being said. What she did before me does not matter. Who she, how she treated Tom, Dick, and Larry and Harry. How she treated them has no effect on me. Because I know when she's with me. She's going to have to move in a certain way. To continue to be a part of my reality. That's just what it is. Mothers. Yeah, I don't well, know. I'm not going to lie. Life. Why are you goes shocked? on beyond mm -hmm. the strip club, beyond the streets. Mm -hmm. Like, <laughs> apparently, people settle down and th their lives move on. Just like yeah. niggas. Niggas be in the streets. We all know that. Niggas uh -huh. be in the streets. Uh -huh. they, they're they drug dealers. They be in the clubs. They buy Look, niggas, it's okay when y'all do it. You know what I'm saying? It's okay when you do it, but let a bitch do it. And that was the issue. I bottles, they whatever, they, they hoeing out in the streets. Well, guess what? A couple years down the line, they're fucking truck drivers. They're fucking dads <laughs> with dad bots. Like, listen, we're not the same people we were when we were young. I don't understand why this doesn't 
apply to women. But why are you still ain't shit, Amanda? Why do you think that they're <laughs> not shit? They're not the same. Per- even if they weren't, they weren't shit at 22, 21, whatever the fuck they were doing at that age. Why do you think that they haven't learned life by now when they're at this different point? And what's something different? That you can't be. We're not saying, hey, you can't go get a different job. I'm not saying you can't go from a drug dealer to a truck driver. You can't go from a drug dealer to an entrepreneur. First of all, drug dealing is damn near an entrepreneur, realistically. It is. Right? Especially if you're a successful one. Now, I'm talking... Just an illegal version. And dubs. <laughs> right? But if you're, so, we're not saying you can't go get a new career. We're saying... So is being a stripper. Okay. We're saying don't try to be something that you are not. Huh? Right? So, if you are a stripper, if you are a sex worker... Don't go out and try to be a PTA. Why? <laughs> you sound stupid as fuck, bro. And that's the problem with these modern males, bro. Just because she was a stripper. I didn't dated ex-strippers before. And guess what? They weren't the same person. You can't just say because she used to be a stripper. She used to swing on that pole. That she's the same person 10 years down the line when she actually wants to have a family she actually wants to settle down she actually wants to be in a committed relationship she don't want to swing on the pole no more she doesn't switch jobs so it's just like (laughs) the fact that these modern males bro like and i say modern males because first of all there is no fucking modern male modern women but i'm gonna say modern males because they love to use modern women and the only reason why you will see modern women or modern male in the title of my videos is because it is good for the algorithm there's a lot of people who will click modern male and modern women but i don't believe in that shit but anyway these modern males be so insecure that they want their bitch to be a fucking nun until they meet them which is weird as hell to me that's so weird to even want to be with a virgin, like, no disrespect to any of the women who still have their V cards, but why wouldn't you want somebody who got some experience? To me, that sounds like, you know what, I'm not even going to say it because that would be against the guidelines. I'm not even going to say it. But these guys out here, do you not see the insecurity in these dudes who say that just because you were a stripper, just because you used to sell pussy? Now, if you used to sell pussy, I don't know if I would want anything serious with a woman who used to have sex for one. For for money. And that's just me. Right? Now do I judge her for that? Absolutely not. And that's the difference between me and these guys out here. It's perfectly fine to say hey if you used to be a stripper. Hey you know like. I don't have anything against that. But for me. I just wouldn't want to date anybody who used to be a stripper. Me I'm okay with dating an ex stripper. I'm okay with that. And plus I'm not trying to wife anybody up. Like I'm out here. I'm out here. You know what I'm saying? (laughs) We out you. But you know um. It's perfectly fine to say, hey, that just doesn't work for me. But to try to judge these women, right? Or bash them or talk down on them just because now they want to change their lifestyle. You know, it's just like, come on now. Come on, bro. No, but th- it's because still the same thing. No, it's it is literally not. It's not even the same, same thing. Job. It's, it's like, yo, first of all, it's like this, right? I feel like That's we try to blend so much. And this is the problem with today's world right now. The problem with today's world right now, we try to blend fake with the goddamn real, right? We got a fake wannabe housewife. Good. That's not true. How is she a fake wannabe housewife just because she used to swing on a stripper pole or just because she used to sell her cooch cooch? That doesn't make her any more or less of a housewife than somebody who didn't sell their cooch cooch, who wasn't a stripper. Hell, the ex stripper or the ex uh, uh, sex worker, right? Maybe she makes an even better housewife than the bitch who wasn't. So that's why I'm saying this is the issue with these modern males out here. Once again, these niggas out here just find any reason to nitpick and judge women. Facts to make them feel more comfortable. In their manhood or masculinity or whatever it is, right? To make them feel better. They they need to have a bitch who is holier than thou. <laughs> but then, like, how how much of a turn on is, is it for you to date a woman who's a nun or, or, or a woman who has her V-card? Like, to me, I don't know, bro. I'm not judging those women either, but come on, man. <laughs> come Good on, bro. Virgin Mary mother versus a real one in the same area trying to blend in like... 
fake diamonds and real diamonds all in one chain. So, and it's like I'm a real diamond. Fuck with me. Yo, if we if we pull out the te diamond tester, we start poking them shits around. Some of them going to light up and some of them not going to light at all. And we cannot do that because what happens is we then lose a whole a whole like morality on the integrity of a person. You sound dumb as fuck. He just tried to sound so smart right there. <laughs> You can tell he was trying to formulate a sentence like, hmm, what can I say to make it sound like it hit? That shit did not hit, bro. I'm going to just let you know. And nothing against him. You know, shout out to him. They podcast going up. They doing their thing, right? But <clears throat> you just said a bunch of nothing right there. <laughs> you just said a bunch of fucking nothing, bro. Like I said, the arguments that you're making just are not hitting on shit. You want to know what what's, gotta be a you, you want to know what's the real about that you test? You got to be a but like you, you, you want to know what the real about that test is? It, it really don't be that You need to take them glasses off so you can see the truth. Ex strippers and the ex that be testing fake. Yes, they do. It be the what it be those, it be the ones that were strippers and they done with that life and now they want to be mothers and, and Exactly. And the thing about it is these guys don't even fucking understand that a lot of these ladies out here who weren't ex workers and who weren't strippers there's a there's a lot there's plenty of these women out here regular women as you would say that are selling these niggas dreams right who are who have probably done their thing in the streets who have probably had a past that they don't they don't want to share with you and they don't want to share that with you because you have this preconceived notion that this woman is this perfect somebody. This woman is, oh, she told me that she's only had sex with like five people and this and that and the other. And she knows what type of guy you are. She knows that she's going to be judged if she comes to you with who she is totally. I don't never judge a woman if she says she cheated on her ex nigga. I don't care if she said, oh, you know what I'm saying? I was fucking around with her and her at the same time. That has nothing to do with me. I'm that nigga, bruh. Right? And then on top of that, I'm not trying to wife you. And even if I was trying to wife you, I'm that nigga, bruh. Nothing in your past exists. Nothing in your past matters to me. I don't give a shit. Right? So it's just like these dudes are hella insecure to the fact that they think, oh, you don't think that that woman that you're pedestalizing, that woman that you think, oh, yeah, she only got five bodies, man, she a baddie, you know, she's got a great career, great job and all of this, but you don't know. She might say that she got five bodies, she might have 500. These women out here are only going to show you what they feel comfortable enough with showing you. And with you being a guy who is very judgmental and a guy who already perceives her in a certain way, she's going to do everything possible to have you keep that image of her, even though she knows that's not true to her. So you're not even able to give her what she needs as far as feeling accepted by a man who is going to love her for her and accept her for her, right? Because... She can't even be who she really is. She can't even be truthful about who she is because she knows her man is going to judge her because he expects a woman to be a certain way. He expect, you know what I'm saying? So that's why a lot of these women, they can't even be honest with a man. So when they fuck with a real one, they like, damn, I could be my authentic self. She's not going to judge me or he's not going to judge me. For saying that I done did, did this, that, or whatever the case is. Because all of that shit, fellas, all of that shit is irrelevant. When you have game and a woman wants to fuck with you, bro. Look, if you really have game, none of that shit, all of that shit, it doesn't matter. <laughs> I'm telling you, it does not matter. And the only reason why it would matter to you is because you are insecure. You don't have game. Point blank, period. That's facts. And, and they be the realest ones. It be the ones the that board you housewife. think. housewife. It be the ones that you think are the nice, gentle housewives. Oh, they're such a good girl. They're the ones that be testing fake. So Bro, I'm telling you. She right. I kind of just said that. She's absolutely right, man. You don't know. Just because she was an ex stripper don't mean that she ain't a real one. And just because she wasn't an ex-stripper does not mean that she a real one. She could be acting like a real one in your face and be really cheating. Be really telling you what you want to hear. Point blank, period. Listen, those do test fake too. 
We're not. I'm not saying that they're so not. So what are you up saying? The chopping block because they're the same woman. To be honest, when you actually look at it, they're the same thought that is trying to be a housewife that's actually looking as if she's perfect and this picture perfect, idealistic wife, and she's really just an. Ex- she really is Becky that was getting slaughtered down in high school, who then got her shit together and buttoned up. What's wrong with Becky getting slutted out in high school? What's wrong? Why do you give a fuck what the bitch did in high school? Do y'all not see the insecurity in these niggas? Is it just me who sees the insecurity in these niggas? Bro, why the fuck do you care if Becky was smashing everybody and who gives a fuck? Who cares? That doesn't mean that Becky is a whore now. And just because Jenny from the block, who was so nice in high school, don't mean that she's not a whore now. <laughs> so it's just like, dude, the arguments that you are making do not hold, would not hold up in court, fam. They just would not. Dismissed. Up her dress. We're talking about the same person. I don't think you realize that morals are morals. And some people's morals will never waver, right? Those are the ones that are testing real. A woman whose morals never waver. You would never know, sir. You would never know. Because the same women that you think have morals and this and oh my god, is she so perfect. Those same women, you don't know what the fuck she had going on. And you don't know what the fuck she's doing for real. You just don't. So the fact that these guys feel so confident in the fact that they know that this woman is holier than thou. And this woman is really real. And this woman is this and that. You don't even fucking know. And you're you're the type of nigga who would get scammed and sham, Thinking that this woman is what she portrays herself to be. And you find out that the bitch ain't, it ain't what it seem. You the type of nigga, bruh. Because you the type of nigga that a bitch could never open up to. Could never be authentic with. Could never say this is who I am. She already knows. So she's never going to show who she really is. Therefore, every bitch that this nigga fucks with could be a scam and a sham because they're not going to be com- they're not they're not going to feel comfortable or safe enough to actually be who they genuinely are and not feel judged. Do y'all not understand the complications that you make for yourself when you judge women? It's so much better to be open and honest. It's so much better to allow the woman to be open and honest, shall I say, right? Of course be open and honest with her too, but it's so important not to judge women. So important. It doesn't matter what she did in her past. Now, I'm not saying that you have to continue to fuck with her. If some things don't align with your beliefs and your values, I'm not saying that you have to continue to fuck with her, but you don't have to judge her. Right? Facts. It doesn't matter if you give her 10000 or $10 million. She's going to sit there and be like, I don't think I can do this. Even if she tries to do it, she'll be like, I can't do it. But the ex thoughts that you talking about, <laughs> the ex strippers and, and all of them, first of all, they're not they're not even longevity wives. Majority of them fall off somewhere down down the line, right? But I will say this. I will say this. When it's all said and done, the truth, true depth of a person will always revisit the surface. It will always re- revisit the surface. So what he's saying is you cannot grow. What he's saying is you cannot grow and you cannot change. If you was an ex stripper bitch, you always gonna have an ex stripper mindset, which is crazy as fuck. Of course, I wouldn't know ex stripper or nothing like that, but I am totally different as far as the person that I am than I was just five years ago. Right? I'm a totally different person. Damn near everything about me has changed. The way I feel about myself, the way I love myself, the way I value myself, that I know, man, bro, like, <laughs> what he's saying is, is just it's just off. It's off, man. Anybody who wants to change can change. And like I said, just because you're a stripper does not mean that you're not going to be a good housewife, does not mean that you're a whore. I know some strippers who are not even whores. They just get in that bag. They get into the money, bro. It's all business to them. So... Come on, man. Shit. So if you were an ex-drug dealer, gang member, <laughs> etc., cetera, etc., cetera, let that situation come forth 20 years later and you're going to watch that nigga be a nigga. Okay. Look, look, look. you're going to watch that thought be a thought. 
you go watch as that. You say but, that, but I'm trying to say that to say this. I'm not saying not to try to be a better person. Do your best, but you cannot neglect what's in you, and what's in oh you God. is it's in you for a reason. You can heal. You might not even engage into in those activities again, but be an example of what not to do because of the demons that you fight with the experiences that you've willingly participated in. But when we have these people, for example, if we have a woman who is an ex thought who actually was able to become a better woman, never educate women to prevent them from becoming a thought, and instead do, do your route and say, it's okay, you can change your life and get a second chance at life, it's never going to end, bro. Why are you shaming women for... Oh my god. And this is the reason why women feel like they cannot open up sexually. They cannot be there. They cannot express themselves sexually, bro. This is the reason why. And it's so funny because the main niggas who be judging them be the main niggas who want to fuck. How you a nigga that want to fuck, but you fucking shaming women who be fucking. This is just mind blowing to me. To criticize and tear down a woman just because she was fucking around just like you was fucking around. Bruh, come on, fam. Like like I said, man, shout out to dude. He's doing his thing on his podcast. And guess what? When it's your podcast, you got the right to say whatever the fuck you want to say. Okay? That's the great thing about freedom of speech. You can say what you want to say. I ain't got to agree, though. And I know some people, it's some guys out there who are not going to agree with what I'm saying. But at the end of the day, just know this. If a woman does not feel safe enough to be her authentic self and to share with you, that's how you know you got to have game for a woman to open up to you, especially about her past, especially about maybe some of her demons, especially about some maybe some shit that people would judge her for. Right. If she can open up to you and tell you those things, you know, you might have a little bit of game because she's not going to express those things to an insecure, weak ass modern male. Who she knows will judge her in a negative way and see her in a negative light based off of the person that she is not anymore. Right? Or even maybe maybe she still is. Who cares? Like, why are we judging the woman? If you want to fuck with the woman, make sure that you're just getting what you want out of the situation. Whatever that may be. Why do you care about her prior situation? Why do you care about what she has going on right now? You trying to wipe the bitch already? You just met the hoe. You know what I'm saying? It's just like, man, bro, these modern males, fam. These modern males. I feel bad for the ladies out here, man. Like I said, enjoy the dark side. You know, that's why y'all niggas is losing y'all bitches to bitches. But anyway, look, man, if you want my help directly so you do not end up like an insecure, weak, fragile-ass modern male, make sure that you do hit the link in my description down below. We gonna get you right. If you need some advice on your specific situation, hit the link in my description down below, man. I also got merch on the way, too. If y'all have any ideas on which I would want as far as merch, some fly-ass shirts, maybe say some fly-ass shit, some player-ass shit, you know. So we're definitely gonna drop some merch here very, very soon, all right? So... Hey, man, if you are pimping out a simp, like this video, comment your thoughts below. Make sure you do hit the subscribe button, select all notifications so you do not miss an upload where I'm getting you closer to being a pimp. And less of a simp, I will see you in the next video. And, I, and last but not least, I'm out this thing. Stay true to the game.